Hello everybody and welcome to Kelly Pot. Yes, today we are taking a look at this action platformer developed by Unlimited Fry Games and published by Gamera Games in association with Unlimited Fry Games. Uh, Gamera Games in fact made uh, quite a few interesting games in the past or at least have published them. And this one seems to be no exception. It's very nicely animated. You can see that just from this intro screen. It has got very, very interesting hand-drawn visuals. But before we delve into those, let's go into the settings. So, first of all, you've got saves, you've got gameplay, which gives some good stuff. In fact, I'm going to turn tech speed all the way up. Uh, lovely. And apply those settings. Perfect. Uh, what has it also got? It's got some video controls. You've got your audio sliders. You've got your full screen. Twice. I don't know why. Apparently, that's just the thing. Uh, you've got keyboard controls and controller controls, which you can configure to your heart's content. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, I, I have played this for like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, but I get the basic idea of it. There we go. Let's just... The story is fine. Uh, the music's quite nice, actually. I will say that. You can hear it here. It's uh, very good. For the most part. But there we go. It's it's your basic platforming fare. You hold down A to jump more. You have a dash attack. You have a sword. And then you have a more powerful attack. There we go. And then you have B. I don't know what B does yet. Probably something nice. And then of course you have a potion you can use later on. Anyway, there we go. Just skip through this. Oh god, just skip it. I don't care. No, no offense to the writing. Uh, but I have already seen it. And it's just your general. Oh, help me. Please, for the love of God, help me. There we go. But as I say, a lot of the strengths of this game do come with the animations, which are rather nice. They're not they're not the best at jumping, or at least for the characters with robes. It might have been nice to see a bit more of a, you know, animation around the leg area. But whatever. There we go. Also, there we go. Apparently, he still needs help. Oh, dear. But you've got a down smash, which is quite nice, and you sing through floors. It's your, it's a very basic action platformer in terms of the controls. Uh, what makes it more interesting are some of the roguelike elements. So once he's out of the way, let's just go into here. And we have got a new blade, which has a passive ability. Basic attacks will destroy most projectiles. So let's pick that up. And now we've technically got a new blade. Visually, I don't think it's actually different, which is a shame. Let's just use you. There we go. Lovely. And you can see over there, there's a store. So, obviously, you can buy stuff along the way if you've earned the money. Which we will do. There we go. Lovely. That went surprisingly well. And there we go. We've got like 305 monies. Uh, so, we can buy stuff, as you would expect in a game of this nature. So, let's see what we can get. Let's just skip through this, please. Oh, God. Skip through it. I don't care. I've seen it before. Right. The gameplay is much more interesting than the narrative and the animation, to be honest. The animation is lovely. So, here is a new one. Uh, passive ability drastically increases SP recovery rate, which is the spirit power, I believe, which allows us to summon uh, this guy. So, there we go. Let's buy that. Uh, we don't need a potion buyer for health upgrades, but we might want that at some point. What does it do? Passive ability after taking damage generator barrier that lasts 10 seconds. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, that would be quite useful. But there we go. And here we are. Lock us up, and we've effectively got our first uh, boss. Okay. Oh, dear. It's fine. Like, could be better. But it's actually very nicely done. I love the way it, it looks. Also, I love the fact that the uh, little merchant gives you... Oh, come on. Ah, oh, bollocks to you. There we go. <clears throat> I like that the merchant gives you little potions for the early stages. Okay. Still only at 215 money. That is a... Yeah, it would be nice to be able to get up to 1,000, but that's not going to happen, is it? There we go. I mean, I could go up and attack them with a sword, but why bother? Right. On we go, then. First area cleared. Lovely. I will say, very short tutorial. Quite nice, actually. Often with these games, you can either get no tutorial or one that is way too long to the point of being a pain in the ass. Right, there we go. It's apparently the tale of Cain and Abel. Why not? There we go. We'll just skip past that. There we go. And now we're in a fight. Lovely. And again, nice character designs, I will say. They look good. 
Come on. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, my God. He's got magic. Oh, no. I don't like that. Right. There we go. Worth noting, no health bar for, for old Kaney, uh, which is a shame. Come on. Give me something. There we go. There we go. Apparently, we did it. Lovely. Right. Going to skip past that. Not showing off much of the story. And he's now demon. Lovely. Well, that is fantastic. I will say. There we go. Uh, he is a very interesting breed of boss. Effectively, the one which just lets you wail on him. Which is, as I say, kind of an interesting choice. There we go. I don't, I don't know what they actually expect us to do. Oh, dear. Well, we at least have to jump for a few of these. Or not. As I say, visually very interesting. Mechanics-wise, pretty interesting. Not, not the best, not the worst. Uh, there we go. There we go. Give me a potion. There we go. Very difficult to die in this situation. <laughs> Come on. Oh, dear. I must say, difficulty ranged a lot more uh, when playing Old Hades last week. Uh, but this is very nice. Okay, we can't get past those projectiles. We'll just have to skip through them. There we go. The unfortunate bit is there's, there's now no place. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is awful. Yikes. But there we go. Lovely. Well, there we are. Right, I'm going to skip that bit as well. Okay. We're into Kellipot. <laughs> Good. Oh, dear. Well, there we are. Though, Abel can't do da 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 Right. So, here's the thing. Now, we've got beautifully animated backgrounds. I mean, my goodness. Look at them. They are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. And there we go. Oh my god, that is very beautiful. And he does a little Naruto run, of course he does. Well, there we go. Let's examine this. A strangely shaped altar, not sure what this is for. Lovely. And look, there are clocks in the background. I wonder why. Uh, there's no sight, no matter where you go. What should I do? I need to find a way back to... Celef... Celefe? Cellophane? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, to the class fire and find Kane. Yes, I'm sure we do. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna just skip past it. By the way, a bottle of potion for you. Lovely. We use that using LT. Quite simple. There we go. Let's just go into the clock. Why not? There we are. Right. Okay. I... I okay, so some of the Japanese... I, I believe it's Japanese. I don't recognize... The dialect. Uh, some of it isn't translated, which is a shame. Uh, do you wish to enter the golem world? Uh, I guess. I guess I do. Is that is that is that what you're giving me the option to do? Fine. Yep. There we go. Lovely. Can I just can I skip through this as well? No, it won't let me. Okay, let's enter the castle then, which I believe is the area we were just in, but maybe not. I don't know. Admittedly, it would be it would be nice if it was all nicely translated, but of course, some of it just isn't. And there we go. We do have a map we can look through. So that's the portal. And we can just go forward. Lovely. Oh no, this is completely different. Lovely. There we are. Lovely. It, it is a shame that we only have one direction we can attack in. It would be nice, not to mention... Just pretty standard to be able to attack in multiple directions. I get that it's an action platformer, but adding a, a variation of the sort of like 360 degrees, especially when you've got enemies ahead of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. It would have been nice, but there we go. Okay. I wasn't paying attention to my health then. Okay. Right. Fine. There we go. Let's go in again. Again. I, I, oh god, I need some more translations there. Because some of it being translated and some of it not is very confusing to me. Uh, if anyone can tell me what it's saying on those screens, it's probably something very basic. But I would like to know. Right. But yeah, 
So we have our regular menu, which shows us our ultimate ability and secondary attack. We've got runes, which do stuff. We've got quests, which we have to complete. Again, not translated, which is a shame. Uh, but that will probably be updated at some point. Also worth noting, this game is actually only, uh, what, £8? Which I, th I think is pretty fair. There we go. Oh no, it's a good game for that money, especially looks-wise. I, I don't think it's, a, it's necessarily a situation of style over substance either. Like, there is a lot to enjoy about it. The controls aren't floaty. The attacks are relatively quick. Um, but yeah, I, I can't imagine having too many problems with it. Oh god, look at the giant horsey. Again, ah, flying enemies. I just wish I had a way to attack you. Right, there we go. Okay. Oh god. No, no, no. Oh god. No. There we go. I'm still not dead. How lovely. Okay, so there's another portal there. Is it a save point or what? Um. Oh no, I can just teleport between them. That is very lovely. Right. There we go. Let's go on to you and just have a little explore, why don't we? Okay, there's spikes there. I don't want to touch those. Oh, God. No. Oh, shit. Okay. Could be going better. Okay. So first step you, then you. Okay. No. Bollocks. No. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. That was a longer run time. That's fine. And again, I do love the roguelike elements. Um... Can I buy anything from you now? Uh, I can practice battling or hi bye. Hi bye. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Let's go back in. Let's just jump right back into it. There we go. Here's the thing even with the translation issues, this is still a very, very competent game. Like, it, it's. You can still get along with it and play it just fine. It's just a bit of a frustrating thing to deal with. Uh, right. There we go. And I have not got any of the money that I used to. Which, of course, of course I don't. It's roguelike, but still. Fair enough. Hey, there we go. There's money. Uh, let's go down this time. There we go. And again, the hitboxes are a little bit of a pain. They seem to be, I don't know, maybe too accurate. I don't know. Right, what have we got here? Honing oil, a passive ability. If you have not used a basic attack in six seconds, your next basic attack will deal an additional six damage. That sounds very good. That sounds very useful. Uh, right, so first one, you. Then you. Good. But yeah, they don't give you any time after an attack to sort yourself out. Like, if you're touching an enemy because you've attacked them with a slam attack, you're still going to take that damage. And that is incredibly frustrating. That is a bit of a pain in all honesty. But yeah, I, I can see why they would do it that way, but I don't know, it just feels a bit not cheap per se, but infuriatingly you know tricky to work with. Uh, let's see what happens if we keep going down? Let's have a look at the map as well. Um, okay. Oh god, I didn't even see you there. Hello. There we are. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Wait for him to go. Then, boom. Boom jams. Lovely. Right. And then there's another portal there. Hello, you. Right, what have you got? You've got uh, Bouncing Shot, which is a secondary attack. Uh, piercing Bullet, another passive ability. Your secondary attack will pass through walls. So there we go. We've got a little whatever. Uh, Zealot's Blood. After using Dash, the damage of your next attack is increased by two. And they're all very expensive. Uh, okay. Let's go for Piercing Bullet. I don't actually know how useful it'll be. But it could be... It could range from either being very, very useful to just slightly useful. There we go. 
And although I do like the controls, there are certain bits which, oh god, frustrate me. <laughs> but again, these are these are parts uh, which are kind of standard in most roguelikes. For example, doing a smash attack uh, can be a bit of a pain on these sort of platforms where you can just slide through. Okay. Let's go up here, get rid of you. Hey, more gold. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Right. Oh, God. They are the worst. They really are. But yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't be given at least some kind of invincibility frame what, after you've done your downward smash. That, that would seem, at least in my opinion, to be a fairly normal thing to do. Oh, wait. I don't have that ability anymore, do I? Okay. There we are. Oh, God. Lovely. There we are. Right. What else have we got around here, then? Let's see. Uh, we got you. Lovely. Oh, we got another bat. We got lots of bats. All the bats. Every bat. Ah, oh, you're shooting upwards, are you? There we go. How do you like that? That probably would have caught me in a very obvious trap. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just keep going in this direction. Okay, so we got another portal. We got another chest inside. Ah, increase HP by one. Very nice. Very nice. Now, if only I had a place to heal up. And, of course, we have got these teleport gates, which are very useful. Like, that is just an excellent little thing to have. Also, I, I, I kind of forget that I had the option of the um, ranged attack as well. Which is something which would probably serve me very well if I bothered to learn how to use it. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, I really need to heal up. Um, yikes, is all I can say to that. Right, let's have a look around. So, we got a book over there. I'm presuming that's something important. Let's have a look at what that book was. Uh, also... Yeah, we'll get we'll get the bouncing shot. There we go. That is Damn, how many times can I fire that off? That is lovely. Oh. Okay. Which way is it? Oh right, yeah. Just up here. Okay. Um Why is it telling me there's a library here? What what is the significance of it? I don't actually know. Okay. Yeah, it's a library. Why? Why is this being highlighted on the? It's a. Pl it's a plot. Right. What does that mean, though? What does that actually mean? It's all very good to say it's a plot, but you actually have to explain what plots do. Um. Right. Fair enough. It's a plot. That means nothing to me. There we go. Hey, there's another one. Okay. There we go. And I do, again, it looks so good. The animations are so bloody charming. I just wish there were more to say. Right, so there's the end of the area. There are some places I haven't explored, but I think that's fine. There we go. Let's just continue on. We're not doing too well for health, but that's fine. Right, we're in Skyer's chamber. Lovely. A container is locked. Who knows what's inside? Can I beat it up? Probably not. Okay. Boss again. Mr. Elias, apparently. Oh, God. That is actually very, very good to look at. Right. We're going to skip that. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God, I did not expect that. Okay. Six minutes, though. There we go. Bloody A. Wow. I really didn't expect that. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that happened. Welcome back. Yes, thank you. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to say yes, I did. Lovely. Well, let's just let's just keep through that. Right. Can I can I have another world to explore now, or am I gonna have to go 
all the way back. Who knows? Anyway, we've got an empty notebook now. Lovely. And we're meant to fill it in for him. I've just noticed all the things floating around in the background are actually just floating clocks from, uh, what is it? The Scream? I feel, I feel like that's right. Oh, Salvador Dali, I think it is who it is. Right, anyway, so, yeah, now we've got a, uh, note, notebook. There we go, so we've got a bestiary, item catalog. No idea what those are, but it's very nice artwork. And I will say that is one of this game's biggest strengths. It looks amazing. It looks bloody brilliant. Right, there we go. Let's just go in, do one more run through and see how it goes. Okay. On the upside, we do now know the way to, to go through. Um, a boss fight. Ah, that's interesting. So we can practice the boss fight uh, after we've encountered it. That is very useful. That is actually a very good thing, and I would like to see more roguelites do that. There we go. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Let's try Let's try and not uh, lose as much life this time. Let's try and just do it normally. There we go. There we go. Uh, also, we'll try and get the money needed for the other upgrades. But I will say, I again, something else I really like, the way this game awards exploration. With the chests in each level. But they are also another thing which certain roguelites do have an issue with. The chests are still used sparingly enough so that when you find one, it feels like an accomplishment. Whereas with a lot of roguelikes, they give you a lot of chests and they, you know, the upgrades do start to feel a bit, uh, how do I put it? Uh, insignificant is the term. Like some, some roguelikes have too many collectibles in certain areas and it can just make them feel incredibly insignificant. Right, there we go. What did that one do? Uh, let me have a look. Potions no longer heal instantly, but instead... Oh, God. Okay, that might have been one that I didn't want. Okay. Jolly good fun. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Fine. Okay. There we go. I did screw that up a bit, uh, because I think that is going to be a very... Very uh, annoying, like, upgrade. I can see it having its uses, but very rarely. Right, there we go. Another teleporter door. What else we got? Look at that face. That's a happy face. Right, here we go. It's a turtle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God, right. Okay. Okay. Jeez. I did not expect that. Okay. Yikes. Tell you what. Tell you what. I think that I am done with that. <laughs> what was that? What was it? I have no idea. A turtle, he starts spinning around and he starts killing, killing you. And then that happens. What the hell? <laughs> That came out of absolutely nowhere. Right. Oh, my God. Tell you what. Let's just skip through this. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, there we go. Apparently, we've got Ar Arcane Protector Early Bird proto uh, Prototype. Right. So, we've got Battle Tales for a practice mode. So, uh, how do I beat Elias... Who was the boss we took on? So let's see. Uh, that was in the Golem World. Okay. So we can practice against the boss. Which is pretty interesting. Let's just go in and have a go. Again, it is something that I haven't seen that much. The problem is, it's assuming that you're going in with full health. Which just isn't really feasible. Um... But oh well. Oh my god, this is... It's beautiful. It really is. It is gorgeous, but it is such a pain in the ass. Right. There we go. So effectively, it's just surviving until we get to a stage where we can, you know, attack him properly. Oh god. This is a very cool boss fight, I must admit. 
but it is hard as balls. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Right, let's let's cancel that. Um, okay, that's that's quite a nice thing actually. I, I do wish more roguelikes would put that in. However, at the same time, just from first impressions, controls are great. The roguelike scenario is great, works very well with the concept. Background's absolutely gorgeous, foreground animation, beautiful. Gameplay loop, it's a roguelike, so that's your mileage will vary very much on how much you like roguelikes in general. Personally, I'm a, I'm a bit in the middle on it. Uh, the the non-translated segments aren't a deal breaker at all. I mean, it would be nice if they were, but you can get the general gist of what you're doing from the main menu options. And there are a lot of games which haven't been fully translated, such as this. But I don't know, it's good. It is good. I'm kind of indecisive on it, and that is a problem. But anyway, I'm going to end it there for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, there is always a button for you as well. So don't forget about it. In any case, there we go. I've been Toggle Jam. This has been Kellypots, and I shall see you next time.